Hello friends, welcome to BuzzBite. In today's video, we will be looking at how does the billing and licensing for Midjourney, which is an artificial intelligence art tool, how does it work? And also we will be looking at how to create an image prompt in Midjourney. In my previous video, we talked about all the how to create text prompt in Midjourney, but we missed out on uh, on the image prompt. So in today's video, we would like to cover that. So before we get started with this video, uh, I would request you to smash the like button and subscribe to this new channel so that as and when the new video comes out, you would be able to get an email on that. So let's get started on this video. So artificial intelligence AI, right? This is this has taken the internet by storm today. If you go anywhere on the internet, you'll find a, a lot of talk and discussions around artificial intelligence tool, especially some of the tools like Midjourney or DALI. AI is today is attracting digital artists, graphic designers, early adopters, and anyone in search of online digital art creation. The ability to create original, sometimes accurate, and occasionally inspired images from any phrase has surprised one and all, right? And all the internet users actually are surprised as to how quickly artificial intelligence has progressed. Today, 1.5 million users are generating around 2 million images a day. Can you believe that? So that is the power of AI image generation. The latest AI image generator to take the internet by storm is Midjourney. This generator currently can only be accessed by Discord using a chat server to interact and provide prompts. What you need is you need to sign up for a Discord account. If you don't have, if you already have, then you can join the Midjourney server as a beta tester in order to try out the artificial intelligence art. Initially, you will be given 25 free prompts and this is allowed till your free trial period expires. Once your free trial period expires, then you will have to go for a subscription plan which to which I will come in a little moment. So this AI tool, as the tools have got more sophisticated, it has created completely a new career option for some people. And that's really a surprise for me too, because today there are platform where you can uh, apply as a prompt engineers. And these prompts have become a craft in their own right. As with any other craft, some creators or a so to say prompt engineers have started putting them up for sale. Prompt base is one such company or a website where you can find uh, such prompt engineers who are se selling uh, these prompts uh, to various users. Prompt base is at the center of this new trade for generating specific images using image generators, a kind of a meta art mark market. The platform lets prompt engineers sell text description that reliably produce a certain art style or subject on a specific AI platform. When you buy the prompt, you get a string of words that you can paste into Midjourney, DALI or any other system that you have got access to. So Midjourney is kind of a leading platform, so to say, in this AI art. Um, AI art. Uh, this is intended to be an open by default community which you can use via Discord and there are certain rules that you must comply with before you use this mid-journey. So as we get into these billing or licensing uh, things, uh, let me first talk about what are those kind of rules that you must comply. So the mid-journey states that these rules uh, are applicable under PG-13. So, Basically, what it really means is that you cannot create images or use text prompts that are inherently disrespectful, aggressive, or otherwise abusing. Violence or harassment of any kind will not be tolerated. You cannot show any adult content or gore images. Gore images include images of detached body parts of humans or animals, cannibalism, blood, violence. Adult content basically means nudity, sexual organs, uh, people in showers or the toilets, sexual imaginary, imaginary, and other offensive content. Other things may be deemed offensive or abusive because if they are racist or homophobic or disturbing, these are categorized as offensive, other offensive content. So these are the kind of 
contents which you cannot use them in your text to image generation process now let's come down to the plans uh, or subscription plan and uh, what are the what are the different types of subscription plan that you can buy so as i said initially as a user you'll be given a free trial of 25 minutes which essentially means that you can create 25 images once this trial expires you will be asked to go for either a basic or a standard plan so what are what are these basic or a standard plans are so right before we get into these basic or standard plans because these plans refer in terms of gpu minutes which is a graphic processing units minute i would just briefly touch upon what is gpu so gpu is a graphic processing units which refers to rendering any image in 2d or 3d space it can process complex geometry vector light sources textures forms and so forth essentially a gpu is a miniaturized computer designed for a single purpose it's not a multitasking cpu each gpu has its own cpu visual ram and adequate thermal design for ventilation and cooling right so coming back to the standard or the basic plan the basic plan is available for Ten dollar a month, whereas standard plan is available at thirty dollar a month in mid journey. Okay, so with the basic plan, which is uh, for ten dollar a month, you'll be able to run two hundred jobs every month. Okay, with this is the basic plan, and uh, your available fast time is set to two hundred GPU minutes every time. So every time you purchase or renew this plan, you will be getting two hundred GPU minutes, which essentially means that you'll be able to generate. Roughly around 200 images uh, using this plan, but in this plan you don't have access to relax mode, and I will come to that. What is the relax mode? Okay, in standard plan, which is available for $30 a month, you get access to 15 GPU hours, which essentially means 900 GPU minutes. If you compare this with the basic plan, this is this gives you. 4.5 times more number of image creation as compared to the cost which is uh, which is $30 uh, which is around 3 times more as compared to the basic plan but in terms of the number of images you get around 4.5 times one hour is roughly 60 image generations or upscale commands and roughly 200 image variation commands within one hour you can get so as i said uh, standard plan gives you 15 gpu hours per month of fast and uh, with standard plan you can access in a relax mode so what is relax mode relax mode allows you to run unlimited jobs in exchange for longer wait times while in relax mode you won't be able to run upscale to max jobs so that's the limitation of uh, relax mode you will not be able to run upscale to max jobs in the fast mode if you enable the fast mode which comes uh, as, as standard as part of your basic plan and in standard plan as i said you can switch between um, uh, both relax and fast mode so if you if you are running in uh, fast mode this this basically prioritizes your uh, image creation in front of others uh, uh, users so you basically go uh, go fast or go ahead in the queue so that is the difference between basic and standard uh, with both these plans you can uh, enable a private visibility a uh, $20 a month you would be able to get uh, you you will be able to enable private visibility so private visibility you can enable on discord using forward slash private command and you have to pay additionally $20 a month uh, these images will be on your gallery on the website except they will be hidden from the other users and they will remain hidden even after you discontinue your private mode okay and with both these basic and standard plan you can buy more fast minutes for $4 and uh, that will give you 60 minutes of gpu so effectively what we are saying is that once you have exhausted your $10 worth of your gpu under basic or $30 worth of 
uh, GPU, which is essentially we talked about it's around 900 GPU minutes and with basic it's around 200 GPU minutes. If you completely exhaust that, you would be able to buy more fast minutes for $4 for 60 uh, minutes by turning on metered incremental billing. So uh, it's not that that you have exhausted your basic plan and you are stuck and you have to wait till the end of the month. You can even within that period, within that month window, you can still extend your uh, plan by paying additionally $4, which will give you additional 60 GPU minutes. Also, you can upgrade your plan. Let's say you want to go from basic to standard or from standard to corporate, which I'll come to what is corporate plan. So you can upgrade your plan at any time and to upgrade your plan, you can type in your Discord channel, you have to type forward slash subscribe. Also, additionally, suppose you are under basic plan and uh, you have access to 200 GPU minutes, right? And let's say you have not, you could not use it all you could not use those 200 gpu minutes in the entire month and uh, let's say your renewal period comes in and uh, so the mid journey tells that it will be able to give you a discount proportional to the gpu minutes that you have not used so for example let's say you have only used five dollar worth of gpu minutes which is effectively 100 uh, 100 gpu minutes right or 100 images and so you have not used $5 worth of images. So when you go for a renewal, you will get a $5 discount if you have just used 100 out of your 200 minutes. All paid plans, you can purchase more fast minutes with incremental billing, which is also known as metered fast time. So whether you are with basic, standard or corporate, you can always buy more fast minutes. Once you have exhausted the fast minute, uh, on your plan, you will be given an option to activate incremental billing at the rate of $4 per GPU hour. That's, that, that's what I just talked about. Um, and also, let's say you are in, within a month and you want to understand or you want to see how much GPU minutes you have used, right? And how, how, how much GPU minutes is still remaining balance in your account. You can do that using a, a command called forward slash info at any time to see how many metered fast minutes you have used this billing cycle along with their cost in USD. okay so these are the different uh, benefits or these are the different plan uh, features that i just talked about and uh, let me just touch upon the what is the corporate membership plan uh, under the corporate membership plan uh, to me it sounds uh, it, this is a little costly because it gives you a 120 hours per year and if you compare with standard, the cost is roughly 20 times more, which is $600. But in terms of the GPU minutes, you only get eight times advantage. So in standard, you get 15 hours. In corporate, you get 120 hours, right? Which is eight times. But in terms of uh, billing amount, you have to pay 20, 20 times more. But again, this is the corporate plan. And this corporate plan, generally, uh, under this corporate plan, you'll be able to use images commercially as an employee for a company with an over $1 million a year in gross revenue. So any company which has got $1 million a, a year in, term, in, a gross, in terms of a gross revenue, they would be uh, complied or they have to comply in terms of buying a corporate plan. They cannot go and buy a standard plan. That's what my understanding is. Okay. Let's now look into how to create the image prompt. So what is an image prompt? Image prompt is basically you are directing the mid journey bot to create an artwork out of an image, which is either stored online on internet or on the web or on your desktop. So bot, what the bot is going to do is it's going to refer that image. And based on that, it's going to simulate or create an artwork or an image something which resembles to that image so let's see how we can do that in mid journey so here also what you need to do is uh, you need to type uh, forward slash imagine the way you do it for any other uh, other prompt then you press tab and then you or space bar and you get this prompt tab in the prompt tab now in the prompt section you have to now paste in the web address where the image is stored online. So let's say we are 
uh, we want to create a young picture of arnold uh, schwarzenegger right so we go to his image online and what we do is uh, we just copy the image link here okay this is the image which is there on internet so i just uh, for this particular video i i have just uh, open the web url you can also search for any other uh, picture of uh, any other celebrity or whosoever you want to create an image in mid journey you can go to them their image on the internet and then you can open the image and copy the image link once you copy the image link then you have to come back to mid journey and then just paste that image link in this window okay and then you can put in a text prompt uh, which basically describes or maybe even the name of uh, uh, name of that person so in this case i am going to put arnold uh, best photos of young arnold schwarzenegger okay and then i am also going to add a weight to it so uh, what does this weight means is um, say for example i am putting a weight of 0.75 so it basically sets the image prompt weight relative to text weight so whatever text i have written here compare to that text how much weight it's going to put the uh, put on the image so it's around 0.75 i have uh, put in as part of the prompt so now uh, you need to remember is that the image url must be a direct link to an online image which you can usually get it uh, you can get it by right clicking on, on the image anywhere on the web and then you have to choose the copy Uh, link address the address will usually end in .png or .jpg which is a jpeg file okay so for example here in this case the the url contains .jpeg okay so now this way you can create uh, so if i click on enter this will go on it process the this text prompt or image prompt and it will create the image So you see here now it's ready and if I just click on this and open the original uh, I can see that uh, enlarged version of the image um, not all of them don't exactly resemble but they are quite similar to the way uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger used to look especially the third image in terms of the body building um, though this image is still a kind of a mini version of what he actually looked like So this is how you use the image prompt in mid journey so thank you viewers for watching and please do smash the like button if you like the video and also subscribe to this channel